A new Little Panther, Summer Driver's Ed, and Sports Banquet. All this and more, you're watching Panther 4 News. Good morning, Oaks of Panther 4 News. Today is May 3rd, 2017. I'm Josh Altera with the latest school news, and I'm the only one here. If you're a senior and you want your baby photo back, stop by Mr. Gare's classroom to come pick yours up. You can now sign up for Summer School Driver's Ed. See Coach Cannon with your learner's permit to sign up ASAP. Class space is limited, and there is no other way to sign up. Class will run through the month of June. The EOC biology review sessions have been canceled for the remainder of the year. There will be no after-school EOC review sessions. Seniors will need to return their Chromebooks by May 5th and May 8th to the library. Underclassmen will reserve, return theirs May 15th through the 18th through their English classes. Students must return Chromebooks, power supplies, and sleeves. Chromebooks need to be in good working order or free of any physical damage, stickers, adhesives, or written marks. If you are missing any part of your Chromebook package, you will, need, you will be assessed replacement fees for the items at the following rates. Chromebooks are $375, power supplies are $44, and the sleeve and case are $18. If any of the items are physically damaged, you may be assessed a repair or replacement fee. every year and they also produce this thing called a lookbook and basically what it is is a bunch of dividers, spreads, covers, things like that just like the best of the best that Jostens produces. Um, but basically I've been looking at this book and going over it and getting inspiration from this book since like seventh grade. So the fact that my divider that I designed from last year got in it made me really friggin happy. I'm very excited about it. Um, but this is from last year, and then Christina Boyko took this picture, and then I designed the divider along with um, a bunch of the staff, or like the editors from last year. So, yeah, very happy. It is almost time to elect next year's student government officers. You may pick up an application from the SGA bulletin board across from Coach Rothenberg's room. Forms are due into Ms. Knudsen no later than today, Wednesday, May 3rd. Glaciers know. Graduation is quickly approaching, and this year our ceremony will be held at the Suncoast Credit Union Arena at FSW on May 20th at 2.30 p.m. Class of 2020, are you into designing shirts? If so, you can design your class shirt for next year. Please submit a class shirt designed to Miss Frida's by May 1st. Oh, either by dropping it off in room E119 or emailing it to LisaHD at LeeSchools.net or give it to your English teacher. We will vote on the top three at the May 4th class meeting and then we will have a class-wide voting on the top three via Google Classroom. All entries must be school appropriate. And if you have any questions, please contact Miss Frida's. It's that time of year when students are frantic about missing books and Chromebooks. Teachers, students, if you have any random textbooks slash library books that are in your classrooms, offices, planning areas, or backpacks, please return them to the library ASAP. This will help alleviate collecting fines. Seniors, you need to turn your Chromebook books into, into the Media Center between May 5th through the May 8th. And underclassmen, you need to turn your Chromebooks in May 15th through the May 18th. If you ordered a AP Capstone Honor Cord, please pick it up from Miss Bradway. There will, are still about 100 yearbooks on sale for a 2016-2017 school year. The final cost is $75. Order forms can be picked up in the main office or library. Forms and money can be turned into Miss Atkinson. E turned into Miss Dever in the main office. Don't miss out on getting your year of memories. Hey, somebody fix my sports. You know there was a lizard around here somewhere. I just saw him. 
Well, my daughter was sitting on the couch at home and looked out the window and saw this green lizard about that long. And I went up and I said, oh yeah, that's called a green anole. I knew that from my childhood. These brown ones that you see everywhere, they are an invasive species. They are not from Florida. They're from the Bahamas and Cuba. And then I remembered that PetSmart had green anoles that you could purchase. So I started purchasing knowing that the green lizard was a male. We went and purchased females. They're here but you don't see them very often because the brown ones are a little bigger and stronger. The future is kind of bleak because most people are not as interested <laughs> in keeping the green anoles around. There he is! A district game against Ida Baker at 7. The end of year sports banquet is on May 17th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium, and there will be an open gym on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 2 to 5. That's all, folks. I've been Josh Artera. This is Panther 4 News, and you can't even see me in the shot, but there you go. Have a good day, Cypress. Peace off.